Fishman, welcome back to another episode of Luke Outdoors. Uh, today is a carry on from the bait prep video. This is the area I pre baited for a while. Um, it's sort of hidden down a little, I don't know what it is, it's like an abandoned um, boat slip. I mean, I don't care about saying about swims because it's a free, this bit where I'm fishing now anyway is a free spot anyway, so anyone can fish it anyway, so I'm not too bothered about anyone knowing where I am. But um, this is, uh, I'm trying to go for carp. It's early morning. I know how rare the carp are. I mean, I'm, I'm not denying that. Uh, but I just thought I'd give it a go. I've heard a lot of people with the river carp scene. I've been getting a lot of chub, a lot of barbel, a lot of bream. They're pest fish. So, but um, if I can get one of those. <laughs> um, result, I'm using soaked boilies. I've been pre-baiting it with the stuff which I had in um, the video, the clips before this clip, um, and I'm using pop-up versions of them boilies with soaked non-pop-ups, and then just on the other one I've got a big chunk of meat. Meat's always worked for me for carp, chub, and all that stuff, so I've just got that. I, I've got one sort of close in on this side of the slack, because the tree's very low. Um, so I pre-baited quite close in and then the other side, the other one, the left rod, is towards the bridge. I've sort of side cast it towards the bridge. So I'm not midstream but sort of in the slack slightly. So um, I'm, here, I'm going to probably try and stay till midday because anything after that I think it's not going, nothing's going to happen really. So I'm just going to fish the morning, get back to the missus after and hopefully she'll cook me some lunch. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you updated as usual. See you a bit. Another thing uh, you can do while you're waiting for bites and stuff. I know carp anglers do it quite a bit. Uh, sort your tackle box out, your tackle box. What are you about? Sort your tackle box out. Um, I'm actually going to walk over here. Everyone remember the big one, yeah? All them months ago. I actually got a load of uh, scrap and fish feed pellets. Um, which I've still got. I've still got, I've got, still about four, five, six kilos of donkey chokers, which I wanted for catfish and never went. Um, and I'm on my last batch of the micros, well, the micro mix. Um, so I'm just gonna make up some PVA bags. Let you watch them if you want. Alright guys, so I thought this spot was actually a good spot. It turns out it ain't. Um, it's actually a kayak slipway. Um, I thought it was all abandoned because obviously how messy it is. There's no evidence of anyone turning up and basically two kayakers just turned up and I've had to move all the rods, everything. Um, so I'm not going to stay here much longer, I don't think, because I don't see the point if I'm going to have to keep moving all through the day. Um, I can't keep baiting this morning place. Um, what I might actually do is instead carry this on to another video um, in the quest for carp. I've uh, on a platform down there, which is, it actually says on their fishing platform, but it means I won't be able to pre-bait because so many people will fish it. Um, or I'm gonna go to one of my club waters and fish one of my pits or something because I've got all the carp here already. So I might just go drive down the road to one of my pits in a bit and just sit up and see what happens. So yeah. I'll keep you updated. Just gets better and better guys. Um, it's been now, I thought I'd really long it out. Really try and get some fish going in the river as I pre-baited for two days. Um, there's a kayak race, I've got to move. Yeah guys, I'm not happy about me and moved on, but they clearly think they ruled the river, so they, they didn't say move on, but they, they were saying it pretty much, so yeah, so. Oh well. 